Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use a fan brush to create nail art designs. You can usually find this brush in a nail art brush set, but how often do you actually use them? If you have been neglecting your fan brush, maybe this video will give you some ideas on how to use them on your next manicure. And if you like this type of videos and would like to see more nail art brush videos, let me know in the comments below and tell me which brush I should do next. For the first design, I'm going to start by applying a dual colored base color using two nail polish colors. Apply half of the nail with one color and the other half with a second color using the brush that comes with the nail polish bottle. Then either use a water-based white acrylic paint or a slightly dried up white nail polish and get some onto a paint palette. Dab the fan brush onto it to pick up the color. Then apply this to the middle of the nail using little strokes like this. You will end up with this fuzzy line in the center. And this is how to create our first design using the fan brush. If you get any outside the nail, use a flat brush soaked in water or remover to clean it up depending on what paint you use. The reason why I used acrylic paint is because the color comes out more opaque and sharper when used with a fan brush. If I use a normal nail polish, you can see that the colors tend to be more liquidy and the colors will all blend into each other and you won't be able to see the details and the texture left behind using the fan brush. But if I use acrylic paint or a slightly dried up nail polish, you can create much sharper and detailed lines and shapes like this. By using a dabbing motion with the fan brush and moving them along the nail, you can create this pixelated looking pattern on your nails. Okay, personally, I think whoever came up with the fan brush did not intend them to be used on nails because they are just too big in my opinion. But since it is part of the nail brush set, I decided to cut them down to a more reasonable size so I can reduce my cleanup time after using them. To keep the brush intact, I cut the brush from above the ferrule, which holds the hairs in place, and reduce the size of the brush to about one third so it fits onto the nail nicely. Now you can use your new customized fan brush to create a merging or vertical fading effect design by dragging the brush from one side of the nail to the center with one color. And use a second color to do the other side of the nail, merging the two colors in the center. I think it creates a nice texture effect which is interesting to look at. It reminds me of a charcoal painting. You can also use the same technique to create a horizontal fading effect gradient design using three colors. Start with a white color and cover the entire nail using the fan brush. Then pick up a medium color like this blue and cover two thirds of the nail towards the tip. Then finally use a black color to cover the tip of the nail. I really like the effect and texture the fan brush can create. And finally, you can also use the fan brush to help apply glitter onto your nails. Either version of the fan brush will do, we only need the corners. First apply clear polish onto one section of the nail, then dip the side of the fan brush in glitter. It helps to pick up the tiny pieces and distribute them onto the nail. Only apply them to the section of the nail where there is nail polish. If you get it in other areas, you can tap it off the nail or remove it with a flat brush. Apply another section of clear polish and sprinkle a second glitter color onto the nail. To remove any leftover glitter on the brush, simply wipe it off with your fingers or with a nail wipe. Then lastly, apply some more clear polish to the tip of the nail and then add some silver glitter to finish off.
To remove any excess glitter, dip a flat brush in polish remover and go around the nail to clear away the unwanted glitters. Then use your fingers to pat down the glitter and finish off with top coat to seal the decals in place. I think this design is great for special events like parties or wear it to the prom. That's 5 designs you can create with a firm brush. Which one is your favourite? If you like this video, please rate it, share it and add it to your favourite playlist. Please subscribe to my channel for updates, I upload new videos every week. Check out my channel for more nail art tutorials and thanks for watching.